All right. Hello, everybody. I'm going to be teaching a neat little trick today. It is how to remove a comma or really any other punctuation from a piece of paper you've already printed your letter on, but for some reason, maybe your mail merge didn't pull the right name. Uh, so this is supposed to say, Dear Santa, but it didn't pull a name, so the comma's right here. This would be after Santa. So we're going to put it in our bypass tray with another document with Santa in the correct location and reprint, it will say Dear Santa. But first, we we'll have to get rid of this comma. And it's a kind of a, an ancient art. Many people don't know much about it. So I'm going to teach you about it today. I'm going to start with our friend. Uh, this is a number two paperclip. You could use number one. I wouldn't recommend getting up to, into jumbo. Um, the the width of the, the clip and the angle of that rounded edge is what makes it perfect for getting these commas out. So we're just going to start. And actually, I like to start completely vertical. Just give it a little scrape. And this will actually remove the veneer from the top of the paper. And you can see we're already making a dent in that comma. So we're going to take this protective layer off. Once we've done that, we're going to switch over here. And I go at about a 45 degree angle. I'm just going to get a nice rub. Get out of there, comma. There's plenty of other places for you to be. Ruining people's sentences, creating run-ons and whatnot. <laughs> So maybe get back into this mode. Give it a little feathering. We'll talk about feathering in a more advanced class. OK, you can see that he's almost gone. I want to push the, push the ink away from deer, because we want to keep deer for deer Santa. So I don't want to get any ink over here that Santa might see and you know misinterpret in some way. So we're going to scrape it all over there. Just give it some more feathering, lighten it up. Now be very careful not to go through the paper. If Santa can see his fingers through the paper, you're not getting too many presents that year. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to move on to our next tool, which is this guy. I have a uh, white crayon. Um, you can use any color of crayon you want. You're going to want one that's going to help cover up this dark, smudgy area. I call it the the smudge that's left over sometimes. Um, I went with the white crayon because my background is a, this is a pewter paper. So using white in combination with this darker gray, we're going to turn that gray into the pewter that we want it to be, our good friend pewter. So I'll start coloring on there, and hopefully our friend pewter will stop by pretty soon. Get it covered up. Get it nice and covered up. And then just use your finger to kind of smudge it around, push it away from deer, away from the deer. You don't want to hit that deer driving down the road to grandma's for Christmas. So you're going to keep doing that, just smudge it off, smudge it off, and there you go. That's all there is to it. Uh, once you run it through the printer, the heat will kind of let this sit in even more. And Santa, the S on Santa is going to cover that up. So. You won't have any worries about getting good gifts uh, this year. Tune in next time. We're going to talk about uh, the interrobang when it's time to uh, combine that question mark with an exclamation point instead of having both of them kind of convoluting your sentences. Thank you.